Yo, I know what his Ghana people need to feel yeah. him. He needs to enjoy all the food. Thank you. He it's needs got, to put in place. Mm, the, it's got a it's got a lot to do with the food before the show. Right. It, yeah. It sets this the man tone. is obsessed yeah, with our food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been doing this since what 2010. Even before nine. that, Sam. yeah. This guy was sneaking to Ghana, eat our food, and go back and praise Nigeria to love. <laughs> well, maybe uh, when we say bright okocha, you'll be asking, huh? But when we say basket mouth, yeah, yeah. yeah. then. <laughs> Wait, this name, Basket Mouth, yeah. it started from people making fun of your mouth? No, it started with, okay, I was on stage performing there, yeah. so people started heckling. Mm. So I was going back at them, we did that for about like 30 minutes. Uh-huh. I destroyed all of wait, them. Wait, wait. Yeah, it was, you left your set? I left my set. What you was, had re- rehearsed, re- rehearsed for the day. So I started battling with them for about like 30 minutes. After the show, you were trolling them right there? Trolling them right there. After the show, a guy walked up to me and was like, dude, you have a Basket Mouth. Ah. And I was like, hmm, that's a good name. What name did you <laughs> enter the show with? Bright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. No, no way. <laughs> no bright, way they would introduce a comedian by the name Bright. Bright, yeah, because I didn't, I didn't know that I was going to do it professionally. I was just having oh. fun. Oh. So they all say, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Bright. And that's it. How long? And it's been how many years now? Since right now, it's like 26, 26, 27 years. 26? Yeah, yeah man. Your was... comedy career is older than my head of uh, digital. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I swear that. I've been doing it for too long, man. No, look. But I love it. So mm. I don't really notice the time, mm. you know, that I've spent doing it. But, you know, when you love something, you just ride with it. Mm. And it became part of my life because I did not decide to do comedy what depression drove you there what state of mind drove you? it wasn't i won't call it depression what happened was i was into music before then yeah, I was a rapper. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So the music didn't come after. I, I thought it was part of your midlife crisis. No, no. Honestly. Music was what I used to do. Really? My name used to be the lyricist. Hey. Yeah, I used to be a rapper as far back as 1995. <laughs> yeah, man. Wait, what? So I did that then, but the kind of music we were making wasn't really proper because we were mixing Afro beat and hip hop music, okay. which is what people are doing right mm-hmm, now. Mm-hmm. But then it sounded a bit off, and I know when probably doing it properly mm. the perfect way yeah. and one day on stage we were rapping on stage and so people started booing us mm. oh yeah oh you had your days too i had my days <laughs> <laughs> they were upset the show had lasted too long mm. and, <coughs> and they called some artists yeah you know so, so rappers to come and people were like what i beg I bring the main act act <laughs> and they started booing us and i got upset i told the group to st- step back and i held the mic on stage oh. and i started dropping materials wow. and you know we started going you know stand on it for about, about like 30 45 minutes oh and that's when i some uh, nl fugara walked up to me and he was like dude you need to do this comedy thing more mm. you know and the rap thing is good but you know you want to try comedy and that's when i said because I, I i i didn't used to write materials i used to write jokes mm. i just freestyle but you know, from that point, I started writing my first joke. I wrote. I uh-huh. remember. I was gonna ask <laughs> your very first joke, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> presenting to you somewhere from Lagos, uh, <laughs> comedian <laughs> Body One. He started as a musician, a field musician. Give it up for comedian Bright. <laughs> I can't even remember the joke, oh. right? <laughs> but no, no, like, I can't remember the sequ- full sequence. Yeah. But I know the joke was about a guy that wanted to ask a girl out mm. and his friend tricked him told him to go and um, that the girl loves English that he should use English to mm. um, you know toast the girl mm. and he walked up to the girl and was like excuse me I've got this arbitrary conspicuousness hey. that makes me want to modify my intention of hey. hey. you know you can see that's splenetic is a sexist expression for my serocopic intensity hey. towards a subatonic and copulative relationship wow. with you yeah. but, but you know when <laughs> <laughs> Don't try entering this in chat GPT. It will freeze your phone. I can't even believe that I still remember it. So, wow. so the girl knew that the guy rehearsed it. So the girl, mm-hmm. the girl now said, excuse me, mm-hmm. you didn't tell me your name. And the guy told the girl his, his name. And the girl was like, please continue. He couldn't continue from where he stopped. Foul. So he had to start all over again. <laughs> no, 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 yes. But you studied English major. So. No, no, no. It was sociology. But I, I went through the dictionary for some time that period. Because <laughs> you're very fluent. Your style is one that 
I don't know if you write every joke you dish out on that stage, but it comes like a flow, that easy one, you know? Yeah. yeah I don't know if it comes with a lot of years of practice. No, it, it, I think it came from it came from the fact that I'm a rapper as mm. well. Okay. So because of your rapper, there's this, you know, rappers we have, you know, it's like poetry. Mm. So, and with me, when I started writing materials, I started throwing in some, you know, I, I, you, it's hard for you to know where my material is heading to, mm-hmm. the way I write it. Mm. You know, when you, you someone, a rapper is writing his verse, you will never know where he's going to drop, sure. you understand, the lines on, but what I, and that's what I do with comedy. I just go and from left I'm going right and the next thing I'm going up and the next thing I'm going down. But in terms of how f- uh, how my flow is, I think it's it's because of I let the jokes, the materials, I let it, I let it live in me, mm. right? So I let it sink. I believe the materials. That's right. So when the, the material is not part of me, it's easier for me to just bring it out. Well, in case you just join us, AJ, tell them. So we are live with the one and only comedian, um, actor, and as well, businessman, and (laughs) artist. (laughs) He has one of the most fire albums. Like, honestly, like you will literally listen from cover to cover. The one and only Basket Mouse is in the house. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. right. (laughs) And you tell us you are in Ghana two weeks early. What exactly does that mean? Yes, so um, everyone knows about the show, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, so for the people that don't know, about it i'm in ghana to do my one man stand up comedy tour show Ooh. and i've been touring since the since february the beginning of february Whoa. myself and nabil mm-hmm. we spoke and it was like no let's do a version a ghana version like you know let's bring it to ghana and i was like definitely because to be honest Ghana, in actual fact, yeah. the first foreign country I traveled to uh-huh. no <laughs> is <way>. Ghana. <laughs> I was going to ask. My goodness. People, people always say that on, this, on social media, they're like, there is a connection with Basket Mouth yeah. Ghana. and Ghana. Yes. Yes. And it's yes. Been, so yes. the first time yes. I came out to do a gig mm. was in Ghana. It was um, Chatter House. Yes. So they called two me. Two things involved. Two things involved. So <laughs> that joke, that performance, the reason I am, I have this connection, I have this love for Ghana. Mm. So you see that performance mm-hmm. was what blew me. Are you serious? Yes. That particular performance. Minor social media. On, it was on YouTube. Yes. Because YouTube at that time only... there was no social yeah. media. Yeah. Yeah. It was YouTube. That was the video that from in South Africa, when I did South Africa, Blacks Only, that was the video they saw when Russell Peters, you know Russell yeah. Peters, yes. a comedian, when he picked me up to open for him, that was the video he saw for just for last festival. That was the video they you saw. You owe us this. Yes, definitely. That's Nab- why I'm here. Nab- that's, Nab- why Nab- that's why I'm here. Nabil Nab- Nab- didn't have to call you, basketball. <laughs> you owe us this. Like, come on. Yeah. So, mm. and that that joke, that performance actually opened uh, a lot of doors for me. And I want to recreate that moment. Mm. And I wrote a very, very powerful set, mm. uh, which I've been doing across Europe, mm. uh, yeah. the UK. And you guys are in for some good, okay. good fun. It's going to okay. be amazing. We cannot wait for that. Yeah, you know, so it's just you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Bucci is going to be with me as well. We okay, Bucci, And there, yeah. there will be some comedians, some Ghanaian comedians as well that will perform. Uh, I can't mention their names. Aha, uh-huh. I was going there. Yet, but definitely. All right. Yeah, yeah they, they know my favorites. That's right. <laughs> oh, your favorite in Ghana? Yes, who? Eh? Yes, Obi Aponsa is one of them. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> Obi is a friend to the show. Yeah, he's a friend. Uh, he's to a great show. guy. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the lady... Um, Jacinta. 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 Yes, Jacinta. Jacinta is also one of my mm, favorites. We have a lot of them. We have DK. KB, we DKB have, too. Yeah, we have uh, uh, Lexi the comic. Lexi, yeah, I've heard yeah. of him too. Oh, awesome. I intend to, I intend to share my stage with a lot of them. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah because yeah. yeah, I like to. They would love that. Yeah, I love to. You know, let's 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 dance a little on That's stage. That's right. So we have a date. We have a venue. We have a venue, and it's um, the venue's conference center. Uh, you're back to the conference center. Back where it all started. <laughs> <laughs> where so it all this started. Is proper homecoming. Yeah, proper homecoming. So the conference center is on the eighth. Mm. I think doors open at six, yeah, at seven, uh-huh. and the show starts at um, eight p.m. Right? Yeah, eight p.m. Shop. And it's gonna be. I'm doing like an hour. 
30 minutes or an hour. Non-stop. Yeah, non-stop. Just stage you. material, yeah. Wow. And, it, it, you know, if you want to know how dope the set is, ask people, if you know anybody that, if I can, I'm just telling the audience yeah. right now, if you know anyone that attended any of the shows I did in, in London, yeah, yeah. in yeah. Europe, ask them and then they'll tell you mm. what you're about mm. to experience. I think it's one of my best sets mm. that wow. I've written so far in my entire career. Yeah. And I'm really excited. Nearly the energy, three decades. Nearly three decades. It took you a while to do this. Yeah. I actually took a break from comedy, but people didn't notice. Really? really? Yeah, I took a break for about, I think I took a five-year break. Five, five years? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what I was doing... You were looking for money? No. I. So the thing is, it was either I take that break or I quit comedy. Mm. So when I started doing comedy, I wanted to be a stand-up comedian because the first person I saw perform was Eddie Murphy. Okay. And I was like, this is what I want to do. I like to do this this way. Mm -hmm. Then I got into the space and it was dope, right? But in Nigeria, like, mm, they, they push you to do something else. Yeah. Right, like it got, you see, a doctor, it. the doctor, a, a doc, someone that will read pharmacy is mm -hmm. a banker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that country will change yes. your career for yes. you. <laughs> yeah. So I found myself being an MC, mm -hmm. a master of ceremony. Mm -hmm. That's not what I signed up for. Mm -hmm. I signed up to be a stand-up comedian, not a, an, an MC for a wedding or mm -hmm. birthday mm -hmm. parties or all those things. I'm just doing stand-up. So I realized that I wasn't enjoying it anymore. Mm -hmm. Every time I'm booked for a gig, yes, the money is good, but I'm always upset. Mm. You know, and I told myself, I said, Bright, you have to choose one. It's either you choose the money or you choose the love for the game. Mm. And I was like, you know, let me take a break and reevaluate myself, recalibrate myself as much as I can. Mm. And I saw everything. I, I knew what was wrong. And what was wrong was, it was the fact that I wasn't doing, you understand? What you really what I wanted yeah. to do, and when I came back, I came back last year mm -hmm. fully, and I did some gigs at uh, at um, in the states mm -hmm. at uh, Laugh Factory, okay. and that's when I, I told myself, okay, you're, you're back. Ready now. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. How do people receive your material, especially when you are outside Africa? They love it, man. Mm -hmm. They love it because you no, know, my material I don't um, nationalize it. It's quite you know universal. Mm -hmm. So I talk about anything. And everything things that people can relate with family friends mm. you know even if it's culture it's the kind of culture that they can relate with and something that will not be difficult for me to break down because yeah. you have to also you know if you're bringing them into your culture you must be able to simplify it mm. you understand to them so that way they can feed the material yeah. quite nicely mm. yeah. so they love it like, like the, my best show was actually in Amsterdam mm. like among the 16 shows I did through the tour the best one was Amsterdam, and it was amazing. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. And but I want Ghana to be the best the, the, one. Don't worry. Ghanaians <laughs> have a special moment. They have a special relationship with you. Yeah, it And is. it's not hidden. Uh, but yes, I was going to ask your most memorable performance so far. I think Amsterdam will be one of the top. Yeah, one of the top. Yeah. yeah. Top then that ones. one, mm. and there was a time I did um, This Day Music Festival with mm. the likes of um, Beyonce and Jay-Z, and Ooh. it was in Lagos back then. It was in 2006 or seven. Mm -hmm. oh, I think 2008 or there about. Oh, that early? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> hey! hey. Yeah, it's, uh, okay. So. Was it 2000? No, I think it was, no, no, it was later than that. I'm not, I'm not correct with my, mm. with my dates. So but, I, yeah. Yeah, no, go ahead. Yeah, your, your comedy style. Yeah. It's mostly around social issues, cultural issues, especially in Nigeria, political issues and all that. <laughs> uh, you guys just recovered from an election. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just... Uh, how do you feel about that? And are you going to have elements in that... Uh, so the thing is, with politics, I try as much as possible, especially especially now, mm. I try as much as possible to stay away from it mm. because people are very Attached. emotional mm. about it. They are, some people are very upset mm. about the outcomes, some people are happy, you know. So I don't want to get involved. In, I don't know, yeah, meddling in that. That's so okay. I run away from anything politics <laughs> right now. Right? Makes sense. Makes so just talk about <laughs> the everyday African or Nigerian, you know, and their day-to-day -day lives. Yeah, you and know. You try to just paint a picture for even those who don't have the opportunity to go to Nigeria or be in Nigeria, right? So now, mm. now for the for the for the people that have never been to Lagos or Nigeria before, mm. you know, Nigeria is like Nigeria is the. I, I would say you guys are calm, right? Yeah. <laughs> so imagine, <laughs> imagine Ghanaians on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Da, that's Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> you're on, you're okay. on steroids, mm. and <laughs> heavy steroids, <laughs> and the energy, the mm. love. You know, it's yeah. it's different, and I love it. I love it. But like someone was asking me, where do you prefer? Mm-hmm. Like, where do you prefer chilling? Mm. Now the thing is. I love Ghana okay. because Ghana is laid back. Yeah. Ghana is the kind of place I can just come to relax. and like, you know, just relax. Yeah. Mm. But after like two days, mm-hmm. I want, you know, I'm used to that. <laughs> fast pace. I'm used to that fast pace. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what? I need to take a little bit of Lagos yeah. now. Yeah. I think. Yeah. But my last tour, I think I, I did six weeks outside Lagos. Whoa. And I didn't, I intentionally did not miss it. Okay. Mm. okay. Yeah. And the reason I did not miss it is because mm. as at that time, that was where we had the, uh, Cash crunch. Mm. Right. Yeah, that was yes. terrible. Yes. So I, no, I didn't miss it at yeah. all. <laughs> you, you, you've had your own fair share of backlash, you know, oh, yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's a tough terrain. Is your your space is one that Charlie Wolf eats wolf, yeah. lion, battle lion. <laughs> what would you say has made you survive all those years? I uh, remain mute. Mm. I always stay mute. So the thing is, like I tell most of my colleagues, my friends in the industry, you know. It's good for you to be loved, right? Mm. But you do not need anyone's validation. Right. In my own case, I became popular, I became famous before social media. Yeah. I was famous during the time of VHS tapes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So social media doesn't necessarily bring value to me. I bring value to social media mm-hmm. because I create content and I put it there for the consumption of my community. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? From, from my community and all that. So when people come at me or troll or say certain things, I don't feel the need mm. to yeah. respond to anybody because this is not my space. This is just a, a business forum for me. Mm. Mm. This is just, uh, I just drop my things and I leave. Yeah. So my conversation, my explanations and all that will happen on stage. You understand? In front of the people that actually bring value to me. Oh, sure. Do you understand? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And that's the way I've, I've been able to keep Do you react to some of those ones? Maybe in a, a line or two, you spare a line or two? No, I'd on never. Stage. I, on, on stage, definitely. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like when they came at me because of I did not, I was not around during the election. Yes. Oh, they came for me, man. Yeah. For like a month plus, yeah. they were dragging so you, you, the hell out you, of me. Yeah, you've been paid. You, a lot yeah. of people even said you were in bed with the government, you know? Yeah, they will say whatever they want to mm. say. But the thing is, the moment you respond, mm. they have power over you. Right. Wow. The moment you just carry your phone and respond, they feel like, okay, he's listening. Mm-hmm. And they start saying anything just to get your attention. Mm. No, there was a time that, you know, social media was hard copy. <laughs> <laughs> I like you know, that. Yeah. I like the way you put it. <laughs> right. Well, hard copy. You mm. buy a, a magazine, yeah. Yeah. you read it, yeah. however you and feel. Yeah, however you, you feel, head. you keep it in your head, you keep <laughs> it to yourself. Mm. <laughs> you, <laughs> you can't say crap about it. Mm. But now, you know, in every 10 people, at least seven, they are not okay. True. True. So now imagine giving. I'm looking at myself. Like, wow. <laughs> what just happened? Maybe Nabil is the one. <laughs> We are turning this studio. I'm looking at like myself. Like, am I the one? Am I the one? No, I know. You sound normal. <laughs> you know. So, so now imagine giving everyone mm. a mobile phone yeah. and yeah. the access to say yeah. whatever, whatever they, they want, want to say. Yeah. They will say whatever they want to say True. to hurt your feelings. True. So the artist, you must be in the position where you understand the fact that you are the artist. Mm. You do not engage in anything. Because you are the one that has 10 million followers Mm. or 20 million Mm. followers. Mm. When you respond to one person, Mm. you've amplified. 90% of your followers didn't see what that person said. Mm. But the moment you respond, them and more people will see it because blogs will carry it. Mm. And blogs, most blogs, they They wait for you. They mm. feed off these Mm. things. So don't give them. Like right now, there's one uh, person, I don't want to mention his name. There's there's someone in Nigeria that tried to pull me out recently. And people are like, yeah. I've been sent questions. Yeah. And people ask you, and I won't. (laughs) Please don't. (laughs) (laughs) And people are like, man, won't you say something? I'm like, for what? Mm. It's... I can't. Yeah. That is a version of his story. That whatever it yeah. is, yeah. you know, that's it. Yeah. That's, you know, in two days it will die. I mean, yeah. everybody will move on. Yeah. yeah. 
and I remain who I am, he will remain who he is, and everybody is going to be fine. (laughs) (laughs) Basket mouth, ladies and gentlemen. 31 past 6 p.m. So so you know it's a live show. You mentioned the time. (laughs) But I'd love to ask about your evolution of your your, your craft. Mm, You've gone from stage to film to series and even animation. Like, I I absolutely adored to your book. Like, your inspirational quotes were, were, were Bucci. Like, the way you guys create comedy even with the simplest things um how what was the thought process of ensuring that you move from each side or try and or or, or try and rebrand yourself at every point in time so i i think i I realized that at a point in time i I, anytime i'm looking at something i don't look at it as as that thing Mm. I'm looking at it in a way where I'm going like, okay, what can I make from this? Right. What can I create from this? So, Inspirational Code actually started with me. I was saying something. I was actually, <laughs> I was giving the quote and Bucci disturbed me. <laughs> he wasn't in the video, so it was just his voice. So after a while, <laughs> sorry, excuse me. After a while, I was like, you know what, Bucci? Let's start seeing you. Yeah. And after a while, I was like, you know what? Let's not even do it this way. You know what? Let's let's turn it to animation because mm. we don't have any themes. Yes, that, like that at like, a point in that. time. Yeah. So that's how it started. So most times it's just as it's going, mm. it starts evolving, mm. and I'm always looking for okay, what can you do with mm. this? How can you evolve mm. from mm. this point to the next? Now, in terms of film, um, I've always wanted to do film, TV, and all mm. that. I I have a passion for movies, TV series, and all that. And I always wanted to go back to music. Mm-hmm. So when I, and to be honest, okay, let me go back. Let me make it yeah. simpler. Mm-hmm. I've always wanted to be in the industry, but not to be part of the industry, to mm-hmm. be my own industry. Mm-hmm. Now, for me to become my own industry, I need to have at least a hand in every arm of the industry. Right. So which is the reason I went to TV. And I conquered it with mm. flatmates. Yes. I went to online and did it with Papa Benji. Mm. And I went to the to Showman to do it with Ghana Jolof. Jolof yeah. And I was like, okay, you're good with this. With the album, I did it with Yabas and the horoscopes. So you're good with music. In terms of concerts, I now did Asha. Asha's concert and the Kuli Goes concert. You're done with this. I'm like, okay, now. You've taken your break from comedy, mm. come back to doing comedy now that you've done. So that five years that I took a break, that was the time, five, six years, that was the time I did everything, mm. you know? And for me, it just as long as once I make, once I lock on that target, mm-hmm. I'm going for it no matter what. And to be honest, it's, it's, I won't, I, it's not my power, mm. right? Mm. It's not. It's God, yeah. because most of the things that I've done, I hear it, mm. and I got to the point where, um, because I tell people most times, you must be at peace from within, for you to be able to tap into the blessings. Into, because if you are angry, because the, the way God, the way God bless us, right? I'm sorry, I'm going religious right now. No, no, <laughs> so when they say, um, if you, do, if yeah, they say in the Bible, if you do this, you get this in a thousand folds, yeah. or you press you. Yeah. That should be in Jericho. Fresh <laughs> okay. shaking and roll over. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. so <laughs> improve it. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> so, so. Now the thing is, that's your blessing. Mm. It doesn't come as money. Mm. It comes as an idea mm. for you to now trans- translate into cash. Cash, you understand? So what I do is that for you to be able to tap into those things, you as a unit, you have to be pure. Mm. You have to be free from jealousy, mm. envy, mm. hate, and all that. So what I did was that I freed myself from within. I you know, I was purified <laughs> mentally. Okay. So I'm at peace with myself. So mm-hmm. I actually hear myself right now. I hear God speak to me. And that's one of the reasons when I take a shot, I hardly miss. Mm. Because it's from divine. It's, it's divine actually yeah, it's divine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Basket Mouth is still here <laughs> well, with us on the 3FM Drive. Me, Giovanni, Caleb, and AJ Sapon, the perfect duo for your late afternoon drive every weekday, 2 p.m. till 7 p.m. So I came late. Well, well yeah. you came at the right time. Because <laughs> 
Yeah, we had a football match going on. Oh, before. yeah, yeah. 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 So who won? won? Yeah. That's a thing. I don't, hmm. I don't one, know. 1-1, one, 1-1. One, 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 was a draw. So, so we, got, we got one point. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. I, I it's, was, it's not great. Sorry. No, it's no. not bad. We still qualify. I, I, I wore a jersey today. We should have won. Yeah. I was advising back up. Can you imagine? Well, we are live on Facebook right now. Now we can see you guys. We are live like this. Yes, we are. We are live. We are live. We are live on Facebook. Serious. Yes, we are live. See, the reason why, the reason I didn't want to say anything, they would have just picked it up and <laughs> so I'm going to be touching on how you support young talents how to grow up and come uh, comedians you started your own way I mean there's a way you do this with young skit makers and all that from Nigeria yes. maybe there's a hack to we need to I be learning that. from yeah. hearing that yeah. we'll get to that part no problem but I also want to touch on sensitivity I want to touch on the fact that the world is so woke well, well, now yeah. that there are some uh, no go zones for comedians how yes. does that make you feel as a comedian and whilst answering that <laughs> I've got a question here yeah. from one huge fan of yours yeah it says uh, does he think Africans have matured enough on their taste for comedy oh yes. like can you touch on any subject at all doing stand-up in Africa yeah um, so the thing is there's some there's some topics you can't talk about mm. that that limits yeah mm. um, like for instance rape is not something you want to joke about um no matter how good you are no matter how good the joke yeah. is because mm, it's not uh, it's it's it's, 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 it's very yeah. sensitive yeah. is it funny no it's, it's not, funny. not no matter how funny yeah they would never find it funny yeah and um disability as well yeah. you know there are some things you know when people are you know the mental state their yeah. mental state you don't want to mess around with that religion it's something you don't want to talk yeah. about as well. Sometimes politics. Wow. Yeah. So, um, and there are some sexual materials you can't really flog, you can't really go deep into. Someone will say that's life. I know it's life, but a few people are quite hypocritical. So, mm. if you go there, they will, they will call you out. Mm. And unfortunately, we live in an era where one person says something like the zombie era, and everyone just follows that person mm. without, you know, analyzing the whole situation. So, for me, I know the lines not to cross. I've learned the hard way myself. Oh my I've had some incidents where I got some serious backlash. And I've learned, I learned from it. And since then, boom. You, <laughs> you stayed away. Never. You've, had your, you've had your fair share. I have had my fair yeah. share. So right now, I just I stay away from it. Yeah. And so, whoa. But so, I'm sure when you were younger. Oh, when I was younger. You were going all out. There were no limits. People, <laughs> it's this new, this new generation. Yeah. Everybody's, me- oh, my mental. You can't touch on uh, this. Yes, hell, touch on yeah, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, so right now, b- most comedians are suffering. Yeah. Because you write a very funny joke, but you know that you can never, nobody will be able to hear this joke. Yeah. And I have a lot of them like that. There, there's one that I, I shared with Bucci, and Bucci told me that, ah, this joke is very funny. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, nobody will hear it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you can't say it. Yeah. And that's that's where we are right now. But on the issue of, of uh, how the comedy scene has quickly changed, with the Oscar slap, a lot yeah. of people started yeah. speculating that now, now it, it sort of gave... Will Smith, um, Chris Rock. Um, validation for anyone to be able to go up and assault um, a comedian who says a bad joke. Did yeah. you take it in that light? No. Mm. I, I I hope someone will come on stage. <laughs> 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 just try it. <laughs> what, would you, what would you have done in a situation like that? I don't know, but we'll just have to find out, right? <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> but to be honest, mm. when I saw that, it was it was just, it was unfortunate. Mm, but yeah. um, it, it didn't put me in a space where I'm now on stage and I'm you you're know, fearful I'm, for I'm yeah. afraid that someone might come on stage and mm. do anything. You know, Nigerians. Let me use Nigerians. Even Africans, mm-hmm. we are always at, we are always alert. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're always on guard. Mm-hmm. So if someone, if you if there's a movement, you see the uh, comedian is already yeah. going backwards. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you What's going learn. On? You're not paying me enough. <laughs> no, to take no, my no. Life. <laughs> you know. And after the Chris Rock incident, mm. a few people did it. There was one other comedian. There was one guy that did it to a comedian. I can't remember now. Mm. And they messed him up so bad. Mm. I don't know. And they, 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 he's in jail right mm. now. Whoa. 
Yeah, I can't remember which comedian he did that to. Was that D.L. Hewley or someone? I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, the way these things are, once someone does it, everyone wants yeah. to Yeah, yeah. But it, it ended quick. <laughs> <laughs> because after that guy that did his, that they messed him up. They beat the guy. Yeah. You need to, I can't yeah. remember who he did it. Yeah. Mess around, they'll find up. out. Yeah. So after his, after his incident, I yeah. think everybody was like, you know what, I think, I think we'll keep yeah. our feelings to ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. But for the show in Ghana, I would have told you guys that, okay, you know what, if you have your feelings, don't keep it at home, don't come. You're going but all out. I'm going all out, but I will not hurt your feelings. Okay. But if you can keep it at home, please how many, keep how it. How many people are you expecting? We are hoping that we can get as much as 1,500 people, right? Oh, okay. That's, that's a it, small number. Location. How many are you expecting? Like 1,500. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, it's small, right? Yeah, it's too small. So meaning you have to get your tickets in advance. Yeah, you have to get a ticket. But I heard that uh, you guys prefer to buy last minute. Last minute. Yeah, yeah, it's not too different from Nigeria. Minute. Yeah, we, we buy sometimes. We buy after the show. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just to let you know how last minute you are. <laughs> Basketball, nah, joke, ladies and gentlemen. Not serious, but, uh, <laughs> you got us there. Well, you, you, your music side as well, the album is officially out, right? Yeah, the first two albums, yes. Yabas and, and Horoscope. Yabba, Horoscope, okay. Yeah. And the third one is coming out. Hey, in, you're a busy man. Oh, yeah, I've been busy, man. I love, the thing is, I love every art form I found myself in. Mm. And God bless me with the right kind of people. Yeah. I work with D- Dr. Seth. He mm. produced the first two albums. He's the one producing the third album, mm. which is actually our best album. Ooh. And the reason is because, you know, the first, Yabas was a soundtrack album. So we're telling the story. Mm. We had to stick with the plan, with the story, the, the story arc. Horoscopes is a soundtrack album for a movie that is coming out maybe this year or next year. We're still oh. yeah, working on it. Then this next album is called Uburu. Uburu. Uburu means brain. Oh, okay. Which language? Igbo, my okay. language. Okay. Oh, okay. So it means brain. And Uburu is just a studio album. Okay. So what we did was we actually went back and because now we, there's no story act so mm-hmm. we, yeah, we can flex our muscles that's right. and that's what we did it's an amazing album man that's right ladies and gentlemen but would you say i mean you've been that man who combines all this balances this with yeah. family time and all that how many children do you have i have four i'm aiming for ten oh, i'm just kidding so what's, <laughs> <laughs> what's happening <laughs> this man is having uh, children minus judas is <laughs> I have a school boss. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we hear, well, what, we, you've been married before, yeah? Yeah. I've, I've, um, yeah. We always ask people on this show, mm-hmm. two lessons they pick from marriage. Hmm. Two lessons. So the thing is not two, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's more than two. <laughs> you know, um, to start with, yeah, like the, someone said, there's no good marriage that ends up in divorce, right? Mm-hmm. So sometimes it's just it's just communication, right? Mm. To be able to sit down and communicate with yourselves, no boundaries, you know, no limits, like understand each other flawlessly is one thing. And I'm not saying that that's my own problem. Okay. And another thing is respect for each couple to respect each other. In my tribe, you know, we prefer respect to love. Mm. Yeah. So respect is one thing, and you have to earn it as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are things that I've, you know, there's a lot more that I've learned. Mm. And, um, you know, we, we you know, you, you live and learn, right? That's right. <laughs> Would you want to give it a chance again? I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, this, guy, this guy is trying to get a headline. <laughs> No, but we, we, we definitely enjoy your company right here. Yeah, thank you. We're surprised to know that we're almost done with an hour. You're like joking. <laughs> I can't wish I was. Just now. Yeah. Wow. About 15 minutes ago. But I want to ask about a comedy special mm, on, like, me. Netflix or something. Mm. Are we, are, is, is your tour going to be, are we going to see it on Their money a bunch. special like that? <laughs> um, maybe, maybe he's, he's been, you've been recording all this while on tour and no, maybe no. this is something we're going to see in some time to come. Yes, I've been recording yeah. since the tour started. Yeah. Um, but I've had conversations okay. with, you know, with some people. I don't want to start mentioning mm. this. Okay. But in, I, I can say this one. I've been offered a special before, <sighs> mm-hmm. mm. but I didn't end up doing it because that was when I was on break. Mm. So when they told me mm. that, you know, want to give you a special, 
And as much as I said yes, I would love to do it. It wasn't the time. It wasn't the time, mm. so I waited. Mm. But I know I'm going to I'm gonna do this. Mm. You guys are... It, it, a, a big announcement is coming. Let's not talk no, about it. No, but why are you starving <laughs> us that announcement? Like, I'm sure you've a lined... Teaser. He's teaser. lined a lot up. And when we when we ask you the question, you're like, no, not today. You're not, not getting me. No, no, no. <laughs> but there are some things we've talked about myself and, you know, clients and all that. And they're like, no, this is confidential. You can't talk yeah. about it. Yeah. But definitely there's going to be a special if not this year next yeah. year I love that and okay. I've been wanting to do a I special since I started doing comedy man <laughs> well if you want to be in the audience come to the show yeah, that's all yeah. be so part of got, that thousand five so we've, got, we've got a lot of questions <laughs> to you guys yeah, please yeah. go I'm saying you guys because AJ yes you say anytime you say yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> Someone is in traffic now, <laughs> and his focus is. Oh, yeah. tell Giovanni, yeah. tell AJ to say yeah again. Yeah. So yeah. AJ, please. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I get it. It can be sexier, but yeah. So the, we'll, we'll leave it for that. Yeah. So the guys, like, what's only happening a, to only, AJ? Only a few people hear that one. So the person wants to know our uh, Facebook. He wants to go to Facebook to f- confirm where basketball is sitting <laughs> and where you are sitting. But this is your yeah, 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 something, something like that. I'm just yeah, inspired. Yeah. I'm inspired by what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that person has a dirty man. <laughs> you should be talking about tickets. Where to get tickets? I know. What is uh, where can we get the tickets, though? And, and I didn't even pay attention to your yeah until you said it. Okay, so <laughs> people, can, we... people can get the tickets from vtickets.com. Yes. Yeah, and we'll be announcing some ticket outlets okay. very soon. Maybe as a well. link in your pages too would help. Yeah, the, uh, mm. I think it's on my bio. The okay. link is in my bio. Okay, okay, yeah. all right. And uh, Giovanni, great interview. That you guys are doing very well. Please, uh, have you already asked Basket Mount? Uh, about his relationship with the other comedian. Um, well, <laughs> Did yeah. you? Well, I'm not talking no, about that. He's not talking. <laughs> like, he's <laughs> wonders. <laughs> so the thing is, uh-huh. I, all I hear is distant echo, right? Mm. And I'm in that space where I'm going somewhere. I don't want to be distracted. Like, you know, and Tunnel so. Vision. yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I'm locked in. Mm. So... I know a lot of people are waiting. Like anytime I post some people are like, what's he gonna say? Yeah. And I'm shocked that people still haven't gotten it. Yeah. I do not respond. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like even when they dragged me that I was not around during the election. Yeah. And in actual fact, I think I'm gonna use this opportunity to quickly explain that. Okay. So they dragged me um, eight years ago. They dragged me four years ago and they dragged me t- last month. Mm-hmm. Every four years I get dragged. I've been doing my shows in, in London for the past 15 years. About eight years ago, they switched the dates from where it was to, sep- mm. to February, right. clashing with my dates. Right. Now, the first one that clashed was at Hammersmith Apollo. I booked the show. Yes. Whiskey was on the bill. Yes. And yes. they announced the election a month after I'd announced my show. Of course. Canceling my show means that I will lose a lot of money. Of course. Mm-hmm. Then, as at that time, people hated the present president as at the time, the current president, good luck, Jonathan. And anybody that supported him, they were dragging them. Mm. Then someone called me out and said, no, I'm, why am I doing a show during the election? So after the election, after the show, after my show, which they postponed the election anyway, mm. I came back, I voted. And I tweeted a month after. I said, I wonder which celebs I was. It was a sarcastic tweet. Mm. Yeah. I wonder which celebs I was. The ones that do their gigs outside Nigeria or the mm-hmm. ones that are supporting, that supported Good Luck Jonathan. Someone yeah. lifted that tweet mm-hmm. out of context. In actual fact, I was referring to myself mm-hmm. because just a month ago, mm. I, I was, was being accused yes. for being outside yeah. the country. Yeah. So someone thought that I was shading people doing gigs outside. Mm. And that's what they ran with. And my friends told me that, Brad, you need to explain. Mm. I'm like, no, why? why? Like, people would say what they would say. <laughs> they would say yeah. what they, what they want mm. to say. And, you know, and so, one, one, some, pe- one person told me that, Brad, you don't want these, these guys, they will bring you down. <laughs> and I laughed. Only God can bring me down. Reach it. And that's a fact. Mm. So I'm like, you know what? Everybody will be fine eventually. That's the election fine. is over. Mm-hmm. Every, everybody, they've all moved, they've moved on. on now. I didn't say a word. <laughs> Nobody the can. New, the new cycle has passed by. We're good. We are on a different one now. So <laughs> after this one now, another one will be come up. <laughs> another one will come up. And it keeps going. Like, right. And it, for me, I, 
I don't want my name to be to be a part of like I can't have certain kind of conversations mm. with people online mm. okay. and be the spectacle to others. No, 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 that's not me. Mm. I've invested too long, too much time into my career. It's 26 years. Mm. I can't be doing this in, at this time in my career, having a conversation mm. with, come on, man. Sorry, I've got a cold, so yeah. that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. okay. Yeah. That's what you get from traveling the world. <laughs> yeah. It came from the, my last trip. You, you pick I'm still recovering. Kind of <laughs> was this, this one happened in Stockholm. Wow. It was snowing in Stockholm, oh, man. I, I landed. I wasn't prepared. I mm. forgot. Yeah. And the cold hit me big time. Wow. Yeah. What's something that, apart from you know, re responding to all these people virtually and all that, what's something that your fans might be surprised to learn about you? To learn about me? Oh, I'm a very good cook. Really? <laughs> yeah. I cook like a woman. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I yeah. cook like a woman. Like I, I used to be in the kitchen with my mom when I was younger. So she's the one that, she, I used to be the one, I like, bring pepper, I put oh. this one. So I knew the timing, I did that for years with her. Just like me. Yeah, like well, you? He, he, liar, you liar, sure? liar, 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 liar. <laughs> <laughs> you were there liar, too liar. long, you were there too long. <laughs> you had to convince yourself, should I lie about this? Should I lie about this? You need to See? teach your body. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball, it's been an honor, such yeah. a pleasure yeah. having you here in our studios thank you, for thank almost you. an hour now. Nah. Uh, you stand tall, you rate so high. Yeah. when it comes to comedy on our Thank continent. Thank you very much. You're one of our greatest gifts to the rest of the world. You know, Thank when you people much, see man. the branded name, they know this guy knows his stuff. He does. And uh, he does. you don't have to switch yourself to fit in. I mean, you I just know. come roll like that. Yes. And that's one thing that stands out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, ever, ever had a difficult, tough crowd, tough audience? Ooh, it seems all the time. Not like all the time, <laughs> but... Not now. Even now. I mean, at this stage of your career. Mm. Nah. nah not you really. know what you're getting when you go and see a basketball show. Like, yeah. you know. No, you know the quality. True. He doesn't come with gimmicks. It's just him mm. and his voice. That's right. And he makes it work. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you're making me feel good about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, <feel> good. <laughs> I want to listen to my voice again. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, that now to that all-important question for us. People yeah. who look up to you. People who are looking forward to having that break in this comedy space. Especially now that you've admitted that uh, it's becoming uh, much more sensitive space mm. you know yeah uh, what, what do you have for them so for each comedian let me tell you first of all don't come into the comedy because it's a you you think it's a way out of the hustle mm. comedy is not a hustle comedy is an art it's like music it's like you know um dancing mm. you know it's like you know painting is an art mm. and when you get into that space you need you have to love the art you have to love the art form now when you get into that space do yourself a favor don't try to be like anybody else mm. nobody wants to buy two of one mm. of a product all right right now there's there can't be another whiskey there can't be another boner boy yeah you understand there cannot be another basket mouth yeah. so when you come in be original people love originality mm. and try as much as possible like you know i've been talking about it do not pay attention to social media yeah. try not to it will mislead you mm. Come into the game for the love of it, not for the money, not for the women, not for the booze, not for the lifestyle. Do it for the love of it. And guess what? It's your heart that God will follow. Mm. Your intentions is what he will follow. And he will bless you accordingly. Mm. Now, when you get into the game, one more thing you need to do, like I said earlier, try and free yourself from anything. Try is hard. But only when you get to that space, you will be able to pick things. You'll be able to see things, hear things, get new material. Because sometimes I can just be on my own. Mm. Like you're asking me, how do I come up with all these things? Mm -hmm. It just comes. Observational. Mm. Sometimes, three days ago, I woke up from a dream with a material. Wow. So it comes from anybody. The dream one happens once in a while, Sha. Mm -hmm. Does happen often. I think. It's not like you have a show tomorrow. No, like, no, no. God, I must dream tonight. I must dream. <laughs> <laughs> that one, it just comes. It's like, I won't call it a fluke. Yeah. But 
Sometimes it just yeah. comes, and yeah. I, like at that dream, I can I think there's something there. You write it? I write definitely. Mm-hmm. I have write a note. Everything. Yeah, I have a note on my phone. I write everything that comes to my head, every single thing. I document it, and once in a while, I go back there and look at the ones I can improve on, mm. and the ones I don't need, I trash them. Yeah. But most times, I just leave everything because sometimes my state of mind, as at the time I'm trying to process it and amplify it might not be a hundred percent like you know i'll come back again and try it again because there's nothing like a complete joke Mm. there's nothing like a complete joke Mm. once you crack your joke if another comedian hears the joke he will tell you another angle Mm. yeah if another hears it they'll tell you another angle so when you create a joke don't be in a hurry to seal it and go like this is a classic Mm. i'm good with it you can stretch it and stretch it for as long as you want do you get Mm. and don't be afraid to repeat your materials. Okay. It's your material. Yes. Mm. But there should be a timeline. Mm. Like maybe use it for a six month period or one year. But it's your material. It's yours. It belongs to you. It's your classic. So, because sometimes these classics, it comes once in a while. Mm-hmm. Like I've, I've been trying to get another two things involved for the past <laughs> 26 years. I still can't. <laughs> you miss a bit of the old you. Yes, all you the time. The hustle, the, the, the hunger. All the time. I still miss the old me because back then, there, there are no limits. Yeah. But right now, when I'm on stage, I'm like, even before I get on stage, I'm like, okay, Brad, you can't talk about this. Ooh. You can't talk about that. Which was the reason where after I cleaned up this set, mm-hmm. this might, this whatever, um, what you guys are going to be experiencing mm-hmm. this next weekend. Yeah. It's Easter weekend, yeah. 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 It's so foolproof, right, mm-hmm. that you can't pick on anything and go like, why did he say that? Mm. Because when I was done writing it, I called my manager, I called my friends, Tayo and the rest of them. I, you know, I, I, I ran it through yeah. them and everything and they started picking all the things. So Tayo is Gen Z. Mm. Wow. Dotun is my mm. is a millennial. millennial. Yeah. <laughs> so then we have some women as mm. well. Mm. So when I, I'll try like, okay, this is fine, but this might be offensive. Mm. Take this out. So it has gone through a lot of vet Team. Yes, the filters That's have right. filtered it out. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> hey, let me get a few messages for our Facebook Live. Can you okay, do that? Okay, so let uh, me get into yeah. some of that um, right now. So we are having a fabulous conversation with the one and only Basket and Mouth. And those that are commenting on uh, our Facebook Live, let's get into some of that. Um, this one says... Uh, Love Nigerians, Nigerian comedians so much. This coming from Ni Sam. Mm. Um, watching live uh, from. Okay, he didn't state exactly. Mm. Gio, ask him his favorite musician in Ghana right now. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Ha. That one hard though. <laughs> I need to. You need to give me like three. <laughs> so okay. I like Kwabuna Kwabuna. Mm-hmm. Oh. A lot. Wow. Sakodi for sure. Mm. Then the third one. Ha. Ah, mm-hmm. I'll just give it to Batman Samini. Samini. Really? Yeah. But have you have you been listening to any of the new cats? Like Black I have, Shavis but yeah, Black Shavis, I love Black yeah. Shavis, But the thing is, I'm just playing safe. <laughs> <laughs> I have so to don't play safe. Out. I'm going to my yeah, my because with these new cats, <laughs> all of them, they are good. Though. There's this guy. <laughs> hey, I remember his name. Oh, it, or maybe the song. New, no, no, no. He's, he's one of the. I remember his name. Ah, oh, mm. the guy is so good. He's a young boy. Mm. What's this boy's name? I remember mm-hmm. uh, it's come. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but Black Sheriff is, is Yeah. I reached out to him. I actually wanted to have him on I was my about album. To ask, on your new album. Yeah, I've tried it? but he was busy, so I'll try I'll try again. Yeah. Oh. You know, yeah. You didn't come. get angry. You are trying again. Yeah. I'm repeating that. You didn't get angry. <laughs> nope. Well, you're trying again. Because you're a superstar. So right. you expect that everyone will jump on. Yeah, an some do, to some be. don't. Some like okay. well, but the thing is I'm the one looking for something. Mm. I'll keep pushing until I get it. So if they don't come through, I go like, you know, I understand. Sometimes Yo. we get busy, you know. Sometimes yeah. sometimes we get arrogant. Sometimes, mm. but I understand. Everyone yeah. will definitely, you know, come low, come down after a while. And then you have my time. Wow. Mm. And for everybody that I've chased, it, sometimes it takes a year, but I always get them. Like wow. That. I'm trying to get Sakodi on the album. I'm close to Ooh, getting him. I like if it doesn't I've been work, chasing him for trying. two years. Yeah, I've You've been chasing Sakodi for how many years? Two years now. And I'll get him. 
Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm very patient. Wow. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, Kendall Willis says, basketball is the best, and I'm really proud of him because he gives platforms to Ghanaians as well. Uh, well, we wish him well so he does more. Eric Thank Kwame Danfosini says, welcome to GH Basketmouth. Kojo Oheniba uh, says, wow, Kwabna, Kwabna. How do you understand the lyrics? <laughs> I it's a melody. Yes. <laughs> Music hits you in a way, Where Kwabna man. killed me was yes. one time we did a gig together many years ago. Mm. I think he was in, it wasn't in Accra. It was Kumasi. Kumasi or so. Mm. Kumasi. 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 One of those places. Yeah. And he got on stage with his guitar uh-huh. and started playing and singing. I can't remember this song. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I, I was just watching him mm-hmm. and I was like, it's a full this is art. Yes. And yes. that was where, no, no, yes. he killed me there. Wow. Yeah. Our time is up. Our time is down. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're having too much fun. <laughs> That's what this show does yeah. to you. Yeah, I need to do it again. Yeah. Yes. No, no, no. Let's do it again. Let's do it okay. again. Before, before the show. So, yeah. end of part one. This part end one, of yes. part one. Yes. Let's do it again. <laughs> I love it. And I love the weather here. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's when you go out of this premises that your bank account yeah, yeah, reminds yeah. you <laughs> that you are still Ghanaian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much for honoring Thank you so much for having me, man. Uh, it's always a pleasure to hang out with superstars like you. We've learned thank a lot. You. Yes. And we've also heard your story. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So all the all my Ghanaian people on the night, everybody listening, please go get your ticket. Mm-hmm. I'm about to show you guys a different part of me you you've never seen me like this before oh. i've you know there's a new me on stage right now you want to see it you want to experience it and guess what i have just five more years and i'm done you're huh? ending yeah in five journey. years yeah in when five you hit years. 30 years of comedy yes. you're done i'm done Done, done, wow. done. Done, done, done. Never to go back to again. Never to go back. Really? Yeah, it's a plan. It's Everything is planned now, like, and I'm following everything accordingly. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm being led by the spirit. I love that. I love that. Hallelujah. But it's five more years, and, yeah. and the, the, the reason I know that it's actually time, everything that I wished for, everything I prayed for, mm. Yeah, mm. has I happened. Received. So yeah. I know now that, okay, it's it's now aligned mm. because for the past one year mm. the stars have been aligning mm. and based on what i pray to god for and based on what he has shown me i'm like okay i'm not changing the you know mm. i'm following what mm. you've mm. You know, what we've agreed because you you fulfilled your part it's time to fulfill mine yeah, yeah so now and god has been amazing I love and that. yeah god i will say this to everyone uh, listening mm. god is amazing yeah never forget that like there's nothing that God cannot do. I love that. Always remember that. I love that. Yeah. I love that. All right. We've taken a minute from the news team. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy. Sorry. They are not happy about that. <laughs> <laughs>